Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In this lesson, we will examine the use of the Tabs dialog box. To access this dialog box, simply click the Home tab in the ribbon and then click the Paragraph Dialog Box Launcher button in the lower right corner of the Paragraph button group. This will open the Paragraph dialog box. In the lower left corner of the Paragraph dialog box is the Tabs button. Click this button to open the Tabs dialog box. You can use this dialog box to set any and all attributes of the tab stops for the currently selected paragraphs in your document. Any tab stops you have added to the current section will be shown in the list below the Tab Stop Position text box. Tab stops are noted by their position on the horizontal ruler. You can click on a tab stop to edit in this list to change the attributes of the selected tab stop. In the Alignment section, you can select one of the available option buttons to change the type of tab stop if necessary. In the Leader section below that, you can add a decorative leader to the selected tab stop by selecting the desired option button. Adding a leader to a tab stop lets you apply a dashed or dotted line when you press the tab key on your keyboard to move to the selected tab stop. Leader tab stops are often used when manually creating an index or table of contents. You can remove all tab stops from the current selection by simply clicking the Clear All button that appears in the Tabs dialog box. Doing this will clear all of the tab stops from the list shown within the dialog box. You can also create new tab stops using this dialog box. Start by typing the desired tab stops position on the horizontal ruler in inches into the tab stop position text box. Then select the desired alignment for the tab stop from the option shown in the alignment section. If desired, select the desired leader for the tab stop from the option shown in the leader section. Once you've changed the options for any tab stop that you have either created or modified, you must click the set button to set the tab stop and add it to the list of tab stops shown in this dialog box. To delete a single tab stop, you would simply select the tab stop to delete from the list of tab stops shown. Then click the Clear button to remove it. Once you have finished setting your tab stops, you can then click the OK button to apply your changes. If you made a mistake or simply don't want to implement any changes, you can click the Cancel button to return the tab stops to the settings they had before you open the Tabs dialog box. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.